What up, Dynasty? Welcome back to pretty much market guide and how do you work? How do you work the market this year, guys? So pretty much, uh, a lot of stuff is new in this this year. There's no gold collectibles and there's no icon collectibles right this second. But what I know is we have X factors, we have team building sets and tips and all that. I'm actually talking. We're going to talk about team building sets first. And last year, pretty much team building sets were where you make your coins so you're going to get the low overalls this year they change how team building sets are but i think you're still going to able to make some coins off team building sets and i'm thinking about because of the 74 to 79 overall i think you're still going to make actually coins off this uh except because a lot of people from the launch is going to like the pre-order games are coming out tonight at like midnight this is 8 p.m we're doing this so these cards people are going to be spending money then i think when the game comes out on the 15th of october this friday it's good people are going to be like scrambling people are going to be building uh they're going to do team building sets people are going to do it so you're going to definitely make coins off these sets again like last year uh if you're looking for coins, I think scoop up cards that are actually cheaper in the market. And look, as you can tell, some are actually going for 2K right this second as we speak. So they're actually going pretty high in the market already. And it's not even like, like this is people are probably have the game like Grand, uh, the Game Changers and all that. Uh, De like all these, all these people who have the game already early before uh, the people who have the 10 hour trial still, these are the, this is what's going on. So what I think is pick up all the 79s in the 79 to 74 range in pretty much all the teams. I think this year you will still make coins off this. I don't know how much you're going to make it off this year, but I think you're definitely going to make off coins off these cards still like we did last year, guys. Uh, it's easier this year to build team building sets because there's not locked into like one player. It's not pretty much locked into one player. It's pretty much overall. So uh, if you can go to like here, you can throw like two eighties in there. You can throw prime times in there. Uh, even low, even the low overalls, like I think the 80 overalls, I think these base cards, I don't know about 80, but I know sem 79 and Pretty much, I think, are going to go high in the market again, like last year. Because uh, it's easier, too, if you kind of go to, like, you go to, uh, let's say, which one's the easiest one? I think, like, the Sharks. You go to the Sharks, you go the low overalls. Pretty much, it ma maps out the pretty much all the overalls right away. You'll have prime times in there. You'll have team of the weeks in there, overalls. I don't think people are going to throw team of the weeks or prime times in these sets because you can sell pretty much team of the weeks and prime times higher than a thousand K. So I wouldn't even spend, but the low overalls, I think that's pretty much it. I'm just saying, just look at these team building sets. You might make some coins off it again this year. I might have to update this when the game actually comes out. I'm not really sure. Uh, because it's e it seems easier this year because you can flood, like you can do it pretty easily. I've been watching some people on stream do this. They've been flying through it and you can tell some of them are marketing up to like 3k. So some are 10k Their People are pricing them pretty higher in the range of what they should be the start. Because if they're, if team building sets are easy to do, the market's going to, it's going people are going to actually take advantage of this. so just i'm trying to say this do this guys it's one of that stuff i'm going to talk about the x factors now okay guys so pr okay so pretty much i think these x factors are actually pretty good in the game uh what i'm going to be talking about is the cards so when you start upgrading these cards when you hit a tier seven like this is probably a bad example on this card Let's go to like Austin. Let's go to Austin Matthews because it's the easiest one to do. So when you hit the tier seven for Austin Matthews, you see base card in 87 or 10 K a hundred K. I think people are going to be 
probably putting his base card in there, like with uh, the high overalls. I think I think the higher overalls and on the te- the tiers uh, are going to be the ones that lose, like Matthews, McDavid, uh, Sid. I think Sid's pretty up there. I don't know about Marshawn. Let's see, check out Marshawn really fast. I think Marshawn's up there too. 90 k Yeah. So any of the base cards are the the fear uh, the fact of uh, the X factor. So uh, I think they're gonna go higher in the market a little bit just for right a, right away. So you just want to mark it out just to look at these base cards in general. Uh, you might get some steals with these base cards. Like Austin Matthews, I would like go for like look at like base cards like with these with the X factors because some of the, some people might just throw won't know the prices of these cards and they will just throw them in the market place in general and you you might get a steal with them you might get a steal and you might be able to like uh, make extra extra coins and maybe double the coins it depends on how big the steal is. I think it's going to be a good chance to able, you're probably able to make some crazy, crazy coins for these because these guys are worth the X factors, right? So work in the market with these guys, this base cards too, with like the X factors, like Sid, say Sid's the same thing. Like I think Sid's like about hundred K. I people, if I was a person who is going to spend a hundred K or get a ba- have a base card. I would use a base card over spending 100k. Depends on what the value is on the market. So, like this guy set it for 100k. So the like depends on where the prices go for the 87s and all the base cards on the X factors. I think to highly, highly look at the you want to start flipping cards on this stuff. Look at the base cards of the X factors cards. Uh, like you never know what what uh, steals you could get on them. Like some people might price these out under the under the under the X factor and the X factors price to make the market. So we're especially in the market right now too. So let's talk about this. Uh, other things I noticed that we can you could do is we have stars in the month. We don't really know what the stars in the month are. Like we know like what. They are, but we don't really know anything is. And I noticed that this overall, it's always glitched. It's always glitch when you're switching stuff. So we have prime times again this year, guys. Prime times were pretty nice when we upgrade. We did last year. I worked the prime time market a lot last year, the start of the year. I'm gonna probably do the same thing this year. I think it's the best thing to do to work the market. I don't know about like how how the prices are gonna go right now. Like I can see like. Stanko's is like nuts price. I don't know. He has an X. He has an X factor, so I'm not sure on that. But like, you just have to look at the prices. We have team of the week again, guys. Team of the week were pretty good last year. Uh, start of the year is good, and then it just died down after that. I don't know how they're gonna do it this year. Uh, team of the week is a hit or miss because the team of the week is pretty much a full week of. Uh, so it goes Wednesday to Wednesday. Prime times are pretty much one shot only. So it's like you get a one, like say you get either gets a card tonight for tomorrow. That'd be only one day only thing. So I don't know how that's going to go. And you know, base cards like we talked. Oh no, these base icons. Uh, I don't know about base icons. Uh, they're hit or miss. They're you could grind the market on them, but last year they don't. You didn't really make coins off, off uh, base like icons in general. These icons, you didn't really make market on them. The only time you made mark coin, like make good coins on them, when the event requested like a, like uh, Gary Roberts. <laughs> That's when you made your coins off these cards. But really, you don't really make that many card coins out of that. We have training cards this year. Uh, as I said last year, you can work the market with these two. Uh, you do can make some good coins off these. Depends on uh, what's like. What are they going for in the market? Uh, when the event dies down, it's easier to make coins or to start right off the market, right off the event. That's where you can make your coins. So 
that's how what I was thinking about. X factors we talked about already. Super original. We don't know what that is. Power icons. These are the new icons that you can actually power up now. So I don't know what the value of these cards will be at all. Uh, they might be all over the place. These, these prices. You can, I worked the market on the icons last year. I do not know how this is going to work this year. We just have to find out and hopefully we see out. Uh, jerseys and logos are pretty interesting ones. You can work the market on these. Uh, you just have to like check. You just have to go the prices range, price range. You just have to like look at the prices. You There's a market for this. I know a lot of people did this. I sold a lot of these cards last year too, guys, on that. Even silver cards, silver Silver cards were pri work too. I sold a lot of silver cards as like, you just have to come to the market and you just have to look at the price on it. I was selling them at like 350 last year to like 400. Oh yeah, and here's a, it's a glitch again. So it doesn't go like that. So you can sell them at like 400 coins, uh, 450, depends on where you want them. They will sell off the right off the market if it's low enough. I think right now 450 and down, it works. Everybody's selling them high for 500k or 500 coins. So silver is good. Bronze, bronze goalies are pretty much the meta to have in the start of the year because you want three synergies as a goalie. So if you have seen any of bronze goalies on the market as right here. Or like you find the synergies as a goalie, like this guy has synergies that people might want. Uh, you want to buy them. They will sell at 5k a piece. These guys will sell 5k's a piece because of three synergies. People put them as backups just to help the synergy wise on that. I'm going to talk about these power icons. Uh, we're having a discussion on my stream today about these two. So, and my buddy PM. He was saying the max price he thinks they might go for is 20k to 25k. He thinks that the max are going to price on these are going to be 20 to 25k. So what I'm thinking is you can it could be a market for these cards, guys. There could be a market for these cards if the under under 20k so anything under you can probably buy and then you flip i don't know what the market will look like these guys right away so i'm not sure so we have to i'll come back on this i might take a, i might have an other video when the game's dads come out and the market starts kind of getting settled about this i'm not really sure about this that's what i'm trying to say i'm not sure about this at all what the market will look like on that but that's a little tip on that we have the we have that. It's pretty much as simple as that. Coaches now you can uh, trade in the coaches, so the coaches might go for some value now a little bit more. Last year they they went for some crazy value. Arenas always have a high value already. That's a pretty much what it is. Uh, and like these always have values. You just have to find the right prices of jerseys like. Gold jersey, you can sell them. You can sell anything in the market that you want. It depends on what's on the market. Uh, you can go like this. So you just have to know the prices and people will buy them. I'm telling you, people will buy these cards. Depends on where they are. Right now, nobody's buying anything because the game's not really out. So people are just throwing things up there. Hopefully people will buy something, but the market, the game's not out yet. Still like 8 p.m. We have... It's getting there. It's getting closer for the game to release. But I'm making this because I have still a trial on my second account. So this is why I'm making this. Uh, talking about something else. Okay. So we have pretty much the these trade-in sets. Uh, we have these new trade-in sets for players overall at 80 plus. I think people are going to probably do this. Uh, I think the values of the 80 overalls might go up in the price too. I think depends on... <clears throat> I don't know. Let's see. Let's see what the prices of the 80 overalls. I th I'm thinking they might go up. I'm not sure how. Yeah. So they're 
depends on i don't know the market's going to be weird i have to make this video again but this is the little tips of it like you can work the market on these these are pretty much the people will like you have the trading coaches now um all this stuff you can trade in it's a market for it uh let's see you have a market for these now so some people might buy these to do these so you might make some coins little bit coins but everything works you know so it's, everything's a market for everything in there you have the x factors uh trade in too so you have to trade in for the for pretty much any gold player so i'm trying to say that probably 79 overalls any of these i think any i think it's going to be like this i think it's going to be set people going to that i think it's going to be any of these overalls not i don't think icons i think it's only base cards are going to be like so any of these cards that you see a low overall i think they're going to go up high in the market for these every 30 days that these these cards will go up in price so any of these cards that you have are tradable wait for every 30 days or keep putting them up in the market over a certain point these will you'll sell them you'll make coins i think the, the 79 overall cards are going to be like last year the prices are going to be up there in like the thousands and 2k's like we did last year maybe sometimes 5k depends on what the market looks like on this but guys this is a little tip very how to work the market right now uh remember guys just you have to be checking the market at all times before you sell something because the market does change every single day market will change so you can look at a price for like Phil like Kessel. The next day Phil Kessel will change the price from saying 3k to 5k to 10k. Prices will change. But guys, hope you guys enjoy this guys. The launch of 21 22 will be here like really shortly. I'll see you guys in the on the game. I'm a guys. Peace.